Hello, my grade 9 students. I am so glad to present you this new lesson. Module 2, D3, Write A to C. Writing, a description of a person. Part 1, Student's Book, page 25. Learning Objectives. At the end of this lesson, students will be able to 1. Recognize the layout of an article describing a person. 2. Use some intensifiers with adjectives to describe a person. 3. Correct the mistakes in a paragraph describing a person. Student's book, page 25. Read through the description and underline any unknown words. 3. Write. The person I admire most is my secondary school English teacher, Mr. Nabil. He taught me in my final years, and before him, I had no interest in English. However, when I finished school, it was my favourite subject. Mr. Nabil was very serious and quite strict, but he also had a wonderful sense of humour. The thing I can't forget about him is his enthusiasm for the subject. This rubbed off on nearly all his students because he motivated them to become interested too. As for myself, Mr. Nabil had a lasting effect on me. He was the main reason I chose to continue my studies in English. He helped me choose the best university for what I wanted to study. He also made me believe in myself and now I'm really confident that one day I'll fulfil my dream of becoming a teacher. I'll never forget Mr. Nabil. I'm glad that he still teaches at my old school, and I hope that the students he teaches now appreciate him as much as I did. Read through the description and underline any unknown words. For example, admire, serious and quite strict had a wonderful sense of humour, enthusiasm, rubbed off, confident, I'll fulfil my dream. Can you guess the meaning of these words or phrases? Match the words or phrases with their meanings. Stop the video, do the exercise, then check your answers. Admire. Admire means have a high regard of. Serious and strict. Firm. Has a sense of humor. Funny. Enthusiasm. Passion. Rub off. Affect positively. Confident. Sure of his abilities. Fulfill my dream. Bring to completion. 3. Write. Student's book, page 25. A. A student has written about the person he admires most. Read the description and match the phrases below with the paragraphs in the description. In this paragraph, the writer A. Explains how the person has influenced him. B. Makes a comment and says how he feels. C. Describes the person's the character. D. Says who he admires and gives some general information. You can stop the video, do the exercise, then check your answers. In this paragraph, paragraph 3, the writer explains how the person has influenced him. How did you know? He helped me choose the best university for what I wanted to study. In this paragraph, the writer B makes a comment and says how he feels. It's in paragraph 4. How did you know? I'll never forget Mr. Nabil.
In this paragraph, the writer, C, describes the person's character. In paragraph two, how did you know? Mr. Nabil was very serious and quite strict, but he also had a wonderful sense of humor. In this paragraph, the writer D says who he admires and gives some general information. This is in paragraph one. How did you know? The person I admire most is my secondary school English teacher, Mr. Nabil. Answer the following comprehension questions. You can stop the video, answer the questions, then check your answers. Number one, who does the writer admire? Number two, why does the writer admire Mr. Nabil? Number three, what was Mr. Nabil like? Number four, what rubbed off on nearly all his students and why? One, he admires Mr. Nabil, his secondary school teacher. Two, because he wasn't interested in English until Mr. Nabil taught him in his final years. English became the writer's favorite subject when he finished school. Three, he was very serious and quite strict, but he had a wonderful sense of humor. Four, his enthusiasm for the subject because the students were motivated to become interested. Number five, why did Mr. Nabil have a lasting effect on the writer? Number six, what is the writer's final thought about Mr. Nabil? Five, the writer chose to continue his studies in English because of Mr. Nabil. Mr. Nabil also helped him choose the best university for what he wanted to study and made him believe in himself. Number six, he will never forget him and he is glad that he still teaches at the writer's old school. He hopes that the students he teaches appreciate Mr. Nabil as much as he did. What are intensifiers? Intensifiers are words or phrases that can be used before an adjective to emphasize it or give it a degree, such as pretty, a little bit, kind of, extremely, really, very, and so. Mr. Nabil was very serious and quite strict. Look at very and quite. These are intensifiers. I am really confident. Really is an intensifier. Look at this group of intensifiers. They are classified from the strongest at the top, extremely, to the weakest at the bottom, a little bit. How can intensifiers change the meaning of a sentence? Study these examples. That's a little annoying versus that's really annoying a little annoying really annoying he's kind of strict versus he's really strict kind of versus really so the first sentence that's a little annoying gives us the meaning of it's not annoying that much that's really annoying means it is annoying too much. Kind of strict means he's not that much strict. Really strict means he's very strict. B. Read the note below and find examples of intensifiers in the description on the right very serious, quite strict, 
really confident. Very serious, quite strict, really confident. Look at these words in red. They are called intensifiers. Can you rephrase the sentences in the description using other intensifiers? We usually use intensifiers to emphasize adjectives. We can say, Mr. Nabil was really serious and pretty strict. The writer is very confident instead of really confident. C. The paragraph below has several mistakes, which have been underlined and marked using the correction code on the right. Read it and correct the mistakes. The correction code. WW stands for wrong word. PR preposition. T tense. A article. SP spelling. Now you can stop the video, do the exercise, then check your answers. Read the paragraph and correct the mistakes. The first mistake is a spelling mistake. SP. Look at the word quiet. Bob Breen is a serious and quiet man who likes reading and spending time with his family. It must be quiet, not quiet. Quiet, an adjective. Quiet is an intensifier. The second one is wrong word, past. However, past month. We usually say last month. It must be last, not past. The next one is spelling mistake. Special. It must be S-P-C-I-A-L. The next one was hearing. The tense is wrong here. It's not past progressive. It must be past simple. Heard, not was hearing. Now, the next one, the man. A stands for article. It must be a man. He heard. A man, because the man is unknown. The next one, PR, preposition. He ran at the house. It must be into the house. The next one, spelling mistake, heavy. It must be H-E-A-V-Y. The last one, destroy. There is something wrong with the tense here. It must be destroyed. Later, another explosion destroyed. Simple past tense. To conclude, let's remind you with what we've learned today. 1. Recognize the layout of an article describing a person. 2. Use some intensifiers with adjective to describe a person. 3. Correct mistakes in a paragraph describing a person. Thank you for watching. My grade 9 students, I'm afraid it's time to say goodbye.